The goal of this video is to demonstrate how to move an object in Unity using the CharacterController.move functionality. This is a bit more involved than using CharacterController.simpleMove as it allows you to have more control over how gravity works, but it's still physics-based movement and has automatic collision handling. So to start out, we want to set up the scene by first creating a 3D object, a cube, that I will change the dimensions of. I'll call it ground, but I'll change the dimensions of it to be 20, 0.1, and then 20 to make a surface. Then I'm gonna add another object, which will act as our player character. Note that the blue arrow on the main camera, the ground, and this capsule all point in the same direction. That direction will be what we'll call forward. So we'll move the capsule back. And then I'm going to add a component to the capsule. It'll be a character controller. And then I need to add a script so I'm going to create a C-sharp script. I actually already created one, so I'm going to open that. I will start by deleting the comments that are already in there. And then I'm going to add some movement variables. So the first will be public int speed, and I'll set that to 5. A vector 3 called velocity. Another vector 3 that I need to set up is move direction. And then lastly, character controller called controller. Then I'll set up the gravity variables. So the first will be float jump height. I'm going to set that to just one. Next will be float gravity. I'll just set that to negative 9.8. And the last one is public bool grounded to show whether we're grounded or not. Going to the start function, gonna get the object's character controller. Do this by setting controller equal to get component character controller. Then everything else will be in the update function. So first I'm gonna set grounded equal to controller dot is grounded. And then if the object's grounded and the velocity in the y direction is less than zero, we're just gonna set that to zero. So now we set up two floats. One will be called horizontal, and it'll equal input dot get access, and we're gonna get the horizontal. And then the same thing for vertical equals input dot get access vertical. Now, if we go back to Unity, I go back up to edit, project settings, and then input manager, you'll see where I'm getting those horizontal and vertical values from. Horizontal is representing A, D, or left, right arrows, and vertical is representing down, up arrows, or SW. So the basic movement keys on the keyboard. So now that we have both of those, we're gonna set move direction equal to a new vector three. It'll be horizontal for the X value, zero for the Y value, and vertical for the Z value. And we're gonna say move direction times equals speed, so times it by the speed that we've set, and then controller dot move, move direction times time dot delta time. Now, for jumping, say if we're grounded, so if grounded, and input dot get key down, say key code dot space. This can also be used via the jump button from that input manager that I mentioned. So if that's true, we're going to jump and set velocity dot y plus equals math f dot square root jump height times negative three times gravity, which has already been set to negative. So 
So then just two more lines of code. One is velocity dot y plus equals gravity times time dot delta time. And in a similar fashion, controller dot move velocity times time dot delta time. And that should be everything. So now if we save that, go back to Unity. The last thing we need to do is drag the script onto the object. And as you can see, I can set the speed and I can also see whether the object is grounded or not. So I can move back and forth. I can jump, but you'll notice that grounded isn't really working correctly. So if I take the minimum move distance and set it to zero and then go back to the game, that's the fix for that. So grounded will now checked when I'm on the ground, whenever I'm jumping or in the air, it's unchecked. And that's it.